because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. <laughs> So yes, another game hunt. And these were some good ones. I really enjoyed these ones. I got two copies of uh, James Bond Legends. I'll explain. Um, the first copy didn't work, so the company sent me another copy. But this is actually a fun game. It really brings me back to the golden eye days of N64. I like it a lot. It's a great first person shooter. Next up, a game that I got a great deal on. It's actually kind of hard to get your hands on this one. It's a really crappy game. It's voted one of the crappiest games of all time, at least in this decade. This is Rambo for PlayStation 3. It's kind of like an on-rail shooter meets first-person shooter. Hell, I like it. Another duplicate because the first copy didn't work, but I've been trying to get my hands on this one for a little while. Got a great price on it. This is Hot Wheels, world best driver uh, for the Wii U. I've been playing this game a little bit. It's actually a great racing game for the Wii U. Um, if you like games where the cars are really fast, this is your best bet. Great game right here. I did a little Star Wars binging as well. My wife suggested this one, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles, episode one. This is a fun game. This is like uh, Star Wars if Star Wars was a beat-em-up. Um, it can get a little monotonous, but it, this is a great two-player game. I enjoy playing this one with my wife. This is a Star Wars game from my childhood. Um, I really liked this one as a kid. I gave away my first copy. I traded a guy for a game called Iron and Blood, but now I got my hands on another one. This is Star Wars Dark Forces. This is like a first person shooter for the PlayStation 1. Actually a really impressive first person shooter for PlayStation 1. This is a great game. I enjoy it. Another game I picked up for the PlayStation 1, I have not played it yet, but this is Tiny Toon Adventures. The great uh, Beanstalk. I, if you look at the back cover, whether you can see it or not, it really looks like Rayman uh, meets Crash Bandicoot or something. I mean, it looks like a great game. I really got to pop this one in. I got to stop procrastinating on this. I really got to put down Mario uh, Odyssey and I got to start playing me some Tiny Toon Adventures. I was excited to finally get my hands on this game. I have to admit, I missed out on this when it was hot. I was more of like the Resident Evil Street Fighter version. Uh, guy of Capcom, but Capcom had a lot of great games and one of them was Devil May Cry. Um, I never got into the Devil May Cry franchise. I really regret it, but now I'm getting into it. I played a little bit of the first Devil May Cry. It is, it's a great game. I like it a lot. Can't wait to play the second two. Um, the HD collection, that's where it's at. So definitely pick this up on the PlayStation 3 Devil May Cry HD Collection. Three games for the price of one. Another expensive game I was able to pick up for a great price. I mean, I was able to get this thing for about, I think it was eight bucks. And this game goes for about 30, 40 bucks. Pikmin 3. Um, obviously, I know about Pikmin because of Smash Brothers. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know what the hell Pikmin was. But now I actually own all the Pikmins and I haven't played this one, but I've been trying to get my hands on it. It's just a collector thing. So Pikmin 3, got my hands on it in real good condition. Oh, look, it. it's not even in there because I was playing it. So yeah, but I would pick this one up. Another game on the Wii U, Ninja Gaiden 3, uh, Razor's Edge. I played a little bit of this game. I can't believe Nintendo made a game so bloody and so violent, but it's a great game. Um, I haven't played too much of it, but Ninja Gaiden, great series. I would get this one, because I'm going for like a complete collection on the Wii U before that stuff gets really expensive. A game I've been after for a minute. Uh, my wife actually got it for me for Christmas. I was really excited to unwrap this. Paper Mario Color Splash. Um, I've been playing a little bit of this game. I really like it, but I mean, damn, this thing has so much flipping text. But besides that, the gameplay is great. Uh, if you play Paper Mario's, you know that it's more of like a Final Fantasy battle, like you don't just jump on people's heads anymore. You have to choose your attacks, but I like the Paper Mario's. 
This one's really fun. I like it a lot. I definitely recommend this. As everybody that knows me knows, I'm not a big PC gamer. I'm not a big laptop gamer, but hell, this one brings back so many memories. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? If there was one computer game I'd have to get, it'd be this one, this franchise right here. Uh, it's great. If you've played this game, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, you're missing out. And finally, one of the things I was able to pick up during my game hunt was a pretty much mint condition PSP. It was really hard to get my hands on one that was in such great condition. No flaws, no scratches, no cracked screens, no boogers, no grease. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this PSP. I got it from this guy. He put a couple games on it for me. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Autos, a lot of racers on it. It's just a great system, and I'm totally addicted to the Tekken uh, 6 on this thing. This is such a great system. This was such an overlooked system. This is the 1000 model. I'm gonna try to eventually get my hands on either a 2000 or a 3000, but this, I was so glad to get my hands on a PSP. I've been wanting one for a long time. Great price. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you have a question on any of these games or any games you would like to see or know about, write down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much and happy hunting.